Hello and thank you for watching this presentation on coastal pollution. I am Emily Parr and work for Keep Britain Tidy and we have Anya who works for the Morecambe Bay Partnership speaking to. We deliver the Love My Beach campaign as beach care coordinators along the Fylde coast and throughout Morecambe Bay and Cumbria. This presentation will provide frequent beach users with the knowledge to identify and report coastal pollution in order to protect our seas and beaches. Feedback from our volunteers and local authorities suggests that even people who visit the beach regularly are unsure of exactly what type of pollution should be reported and where to. So Love My Beach have put together this presentation and also a leaflet which you can download from our website to help everyone identify and correctly report coastal pollution. A quick overview of the Love My Beach campaign first. Love My Beach is a campaign focused on working together for cleaner seas and beaches throughout the northwest to ensure they can be enjoyed by locals, visitors and wildlife for generations to come. We support a network of over 30 volunteer groups throughout the northwest who work tirelessly to clear our beaches, promenades and estuaries. You might have seen us out and about with blue bibs and litter pickers in hand. We also welcome out school groups and work parties to give beach cleaning a go. Aside from clearing litter, we run various campaigns with the aim of encouraging simple behaviour changes individuals can make to protect our beaches and seas from home, in workplaces or even in schools. For example, our latest campaign is called WHOOP, Wipe Out Ocean Plastics, where we work with young women to encourage the correct disposal of bathroom items such as wet wipes and encourage the use of more sustainable toiletries. We also run campaigns encouraging responsible dog ownership on beaches, correct maintenance of septic tanks and plastic reduction campaigns to name a few. You can find out more about all these campaigns on the Love My Beach website. The Love My Beach campaign was established in 2012 as part of the Turning Tides Partnership. This is a group of key stakeholders, including United Utilities, the Environment Agency, local authorities, public health teams, Keep Britain Tidy and Morecambe Bay Partnership who came together to improve bathing water quality and protect public health across the region. Great efforts have been made by these stakeholders and the North West now has the cleanest and safest beaches than it's ever had before. But what exactly is bathing water quality? At beaches where a number of people enter the water, the Environment Agency take water samples for testing during the summer bathing water season. They are testing for bacteria which could be harmful to human health and from these results beaches are awarded classifications ranging from poor to excellent. Within the northwest we have 30 bathing waters and due to infrastructure improvements, community action and various different campaigns 100% of our beaches now meet minimum standards with many of them achieving excellent status. It is worth noting that we do have a number of beaches which are identified as priority bathing waters. This doesn't necessarily mean they have the poorest water quality, it's just that they are at risk of deterioration. Although pollution incidents need reporting at all beaches, we would ask people to be extra vigilant at the beaches listed on the screen. You never know, but what you report could in fact be an unknown cause of their priority status. Various types of coastal pollution have the potential to impact on bathing water quality, alongside risking human health, damaging the reputation of our beaches, which could potentially impact on visitor numbers and even the coastal economy. Additionally, pollution can have a severe impact on wildlife and the various fantastic habitats along the northwest coastline and waters. Major pollution incidents are well reported, enabling swift action from the relevant organisations to prevent further damage. In comparison, smaller, less significant pollution incidents often go unreported and have the potential to cause ongoing but significant damage. The Environment Agency, United Utilities and local authorities are all interested in tackling pollution. However, they have different resources available and so each respond to different types of incidents. As we go through the types of pollution you might spot, we will highlight where to report it to and share phone numbers to. If you spot pollution, please take a photograph if possible and make a note of three things. A description of the pollution, such as its appearance, size, and if it's got an odour to it. The time and date, and also the exact location. What three words is a really useful app you can download for free to your phone. Every three meters squared of the world has been given a unique three word code and anyone can search where that code is for, making it far easier to describe a specific location on a beach than before. 
Following noting down these three things, please phone either the Environment Agency Incident Hotline, the United Utilities Pollution Hotline, or the local authority. Please be aware that although your report will be assessed and the appropriate action taken by the organisation, you are unlikely to be informed of the outcome, unfortunately. Now, let's take a look at the types of pollution you might spot. Under strict and regulated conditions, water companies are occasionally permitted to discharge diluted sewage into the sea during periods of very extreme rainfall in order to prevent homes flooding. However, any signs of sewage pollution in dry weather really does need reporting. You might also notice the following things. Pipes discharging dirty water onto the beach, or even water that appears clean discharging from pipes when it has not rained recently. You might notice sewage solids. Sometimes you'll see sewage fungus growing around pipes or filamentous strands in the water. You might see grey clouds or plumes too, which can indicate sewage pollution. So be aware that it does not always appear to be brown as you might expect. You might also notice a significant concentration of sewage related debris, e.g. hundreds of wet wipes, sanitary products or cotton stems on the beach. Please be aware that finding the odd item on the beach is unfortunately very common, so you only need to make a report if there was a significant concentration. During 2019, the Friends of Estuary Beach Clean Group at Lytham noticed an unusual smell at some excess water at Lytham Green. Although it was not a significant incident, they were aware that it was unusual, and during the last 10 years, they'd never seen water at this particular location before. They promptly and correctly reported the incident, and within less than 24 hours, both the Environment Agency, United Utilities, and local authority had sent staff to investigate the scene. Without their report, this could have otherwise gone unnoticed for a considerable length of time, potentially causing long-term damage. Another type of pollution. Algal bloom can be a natural phenomenon and you will frequently see what appears to be sea foam during rough weather conditions. However, if you spot algal bloom like this pictured, not caused by rough weather conditions, it can indicate there are increased nutrient levels in the water. This would need reporting to the Environment Agency. Oil. If you spot a rainbow coloured film in the water or on a beach, it can indicate oil and that too needs reporting. Or you might see oil in a different form, such as a thick sludge. If you spot either of these signs, please report it to both the Environment Agency and the local authority who manages that beach. Sometimes pollution incidents can take everyone by surprise and aren't necessarily something we've witnessed in that area previously. For example, in 2018, Northwest Beaches became host to unusual white and yellow hard lumps, which were washing up in the tides. Swift reporting enabled the Environment Agency to collect samples and identify it as palm oil, an everyday substance which is often carried in cargo ships. Rough weather conditions had dislodged old wreckages from cargo incidents in the Irish Sea and caused the palm oil they carried to be brought in on the tide. Despite being an everyday substance, palm oil that's been at sea for a long time can be hazardous and is particularly dangerous to dogs. Thanks to reports from beach users, the local authorities were able to respond promptly and remove the substance from their beaches. This is just one example of a new substance being found on a beach. As regular beach users, you will know if something present is new or unusual. Any other occurrences should be reported and they, they will be swiftly investigated and removed if required. All beaches are victim to litter washing in on tides and items being left by beach visitors, unfortunately. However, we are asking people to be extra vigilant and look out for significantly higher concentrations of litter than normal, dumped waste or the overwhelming presence of one particular item. For example, in 2017, a significant amount of black plastic was washing in on beaches around Anchor Zone. After reports were looked into, authorities were able to deduce that this had originated from damage at sea to a local outfall pipe, with the responsible organisation therefore able to take swift action to prevent further damage and support the subsequent cleanup operation. The images on the right are from a pollution incident that took place in January 2021. Filed Coast Beaches received a deluge of multicoloured microplastics over the course of a week. For microplastics to wash in on the tides is not unusual. However, vigilant beach users noticed that this concentration was of significant concern. The local authorities were notified almost instantly and able to take action. They immediately contacted other relevant land and sea-based organisations and a collective task force was set up to identify the source of the pollution incident. 
The photos and location reports submitted by the public have proven to be invaluable evidence of the scale of the incident. Although not necessarily always originating from a pollution incident, if you spot any safety concerns on the coast, you should notify the local authority to protect other wildlife and beach users. Some examples include dangerous items of litter, like boat flares, ammunition, or even asbestos, trip hazards on the promenade, broken outfall pipes, or dead animals such as birds, seals, porpoises, and dolphins, which the local authorities will remove. Wrong connections are something you might notice anywhere. However, they have the potential to cause coastal pollution, so are relevant in this presentation. Incorrectly connected plumbing from homes and businesses can lead to dirty water from toilets, dishwashers and washing machines entering the wrong sewer pipes and then directly into watercourses. The diagram on the left shows how pipes should be correctly connected. All wastewater from bathrooms, kitchens and other household or business appliances are entering the wastewater pipe. However, on the right, you can see that some of this dirty water is running into a surface water drain, which can lead directly into local water courses and to beaches. Take a look at the Connect Right website for more information on wrong connections. We would recommend everyone to check their own plumbing first and take action to rectify any wrong connections. If you do spot any misconnections at another property or business, please inform the Environment Agency. Instead, you might spot grey water at outfall pipes or in watercourses. It might be cloudy or discoloured and can even have visible soap suds and a smell of detergent. This indicates a local misconnection and also needs reporting. Now you know what the signs of pollution to look out for, we'll just re revisit reporting. We would firstly like to, you to know that if you work for a local authority or another organisation along the coast, you are likely to have your own internal pollution reporting procedures. Please ensure you follow these first and foremost and let the relevant teams at your organisation know of any pollution you have seen. Your beach manager is an important first port of call for reporting any incidents and they will keep internal records. For members of the public, please direct your reports to the re relevant organisations explained on the earlier slides. You can download a handy leaflet from the Love My Beach website, which explains the types of pollution to look out for and more information on where to report it. Please visit www.lovemybeach.org and head to the resources page. You could also print out a copy to keep handy when you visit the beach and please do share this information with your friends and colleagues too. If you have any questions, please email them to inquiries at lovemybeach.org and we will get back to you. But all that's left to say is thank you for listening. We hope you have found this useful. And most importantly, thank you for helping to protect and improve our seas and beaches.